How's it going guys, my name is Sid, and sometimes I dress like this on Instagram, and because of that, I get a lot of DMs. Here's one of those DMs. Billy Bridgman. Hi, sweetie. Hello, Billy. How are you, and where are you from, gorgeous? I'm good, and I'm from Canada, eh? <laughs> You? I'm okay, and from Philadelphia. How old are you? And do you work or oh, still in college, sweetie? I just turned 18. I sell feet pics online. You? Want a sneak peek? Guess not. He didn't respond for like two days. And finally, two days later, I say, Billy? And he says, how are you and where are you from, gorgeous? I say, I told you, I'm from Canada, eh? You? I'm doing all right, thanks for asking. Where are you from, I ask. I'm from Philadelphia, but currently am out of town on a business trip. So you are open to traveling? or you're just looking for only online sugar daddy and I'm 44. I love traveling. Where do you travel to? I said, it's okay, sweetie. I really want to get my sugar baby spoiled, so I want you to feel comfortable with me. I said, of course. I'm looking for a sugar baby, ready to be spoiled, and all I want is companionship. I offer you weekly allowance and a lot more. All I want is companionship. <laughs> I'll talk to my accountant so as to make you comfortable till my arrival, like setting something like an allowance for you. I said, sounds good to me, Mr. Bridgman. He says, aw. Can I see more pictures of you, sweetie? I said, sure. He says, good. I said, actually, I don't don't have any that aren't on my Instagram. He says, send me. He says, maybe at this point, we need to talk about your allowance so I know my bills, gorgeous. I said, how much do you want to send me? He says, about 500 to 900 for start. So let me know how you feel about this, sweetie. I said, how about 350? He says, exclamation point. And I said, 500 is too much. And then he didn't respond. I don't know why. Tyan Hoodbrat. She says, hey darling, I'm real and le legit sugar mommy looking for an honest sugar baby. I'm setting an allowance for 1500 weekly for you. Can you be trusted? I said, of course I can be trusted. <laughs> she says, good. Hope you got Cash App or PayPal. I said, I have PayPal. He says, good. Send me your PayPal mail to make your payment now. Where are you located? I said, I'm in Alabama. Uh, one sec on the PayPal. <laughs> She says, okay, good. I said, I don't remember my email. She says, go and check it on your PayPal. And then I send her a temporary email. I said, that's the email. She says, okay, good. Hold on for payment right now. I said, okay. I said, let me know when you send it. And what do you want in return? And she sends a fake screenshot of her sending me $1,500. And she says, this you, right? I said, yeah. You can check your Gmail for the notification from PayPal. And then she sends me the screenshot again. And And I said, okay, I sent it to you, question mark, what's your email? And then she sends me her email. She said, send it here as friends and family and show me the screenshots immediately. I said, okay, I will. She says, I'm waiting. I said, one minute, what do I have to give in return for the money? Just be honest with me, that's all. And promise me you won't get me blocked after getting my money. I said, okay, you want my nudes or anything? She said, yeah, I don't ask for nudes. Do you have any other sugar babies, I asked? She says, yes, but they are not honest. But I want you to be honest with me, so I only have you. And then I sent her a fake screenshot of me sending her 50 US dollars. I said, okay, I sent the payment. She says, show me the full screenshots. I said, I did. She said, show me your PayPal activities. I did not get the payment. I said, okay, one second. She says, yeah. I said, one minute. It's not in there. I'll try to send it again. She says, you're playing me, right? I said, no, I promise. I'll send again. She said, okay, I'm waiting. I said, is that right? Show me the screenshots. And I send her a Grabify link that will track her IP if she clicks on it. She says, what's this? I said, does that look right to you? She said, show me your PayPal balance. So that's what it is. It says it sent twice, $250. She says, show me. And then she sends me the screenshot I sent her again. Don't show me this. I said, I sent the link. Show me any other screenshots. Don't send me a link. Send me other screenshots so I'll confirm. Do you like the Apple XS Max? Is it a good phone? Also, you look nothing like your picture. She says, what are you saying? I've not confirmed their payment. I did not get the payment you sent. You're just lying to me. I said, one second. Send me your PayPal activities or history. And I sent her a screenshot of her IP address. I said, this or 197... What's all this? Your city of Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> That's not my city. Are you playing me? And then I sent her internet service provider. Your phone's camera's on, by the way. Who is that you're talking to? What language are you speaking? Tyan? And then she doesn't didn't respond. Investor Swill. Hey there, beautiful. Sorry if this offends you, but I find you really attractive. But I'd like you to be my sugar baby. We can talk to terms and weekly allowances if you're interested, just basically paying for your time. I said, sorry for the late response. I've been grounded for a week. He says, hey, I'm Swill Robert Schwinn from South Dakota, but currently in Dubai for work. Where are you from? I said, I'm Sid the Sloth from Pangea. 
He says, where's that? I said, on Earth. You've never heard of Pangea? Dad? Okay, what's the story? Please, what do I need to do for you? I'm desperate. Where exactly are you from? I don't know where Pangea is. Where is Pangea? I said, the USA. I'm 43 years old. I'm a crypto merchant and luxury vehicle enthusiast. Oh, and I love to eat a lot. You? How old are you? And where do you do for work? I said, I'm 27, and I'm currently traveling with my friends Manfred and Diego. I'm basically their entertainment. It's literally just online attention I need. I'm usually really busy, so I need a sugar baby that can also be my online personal assistant to help me run errands and figure out things or when I'm out of the States. I said, sounds good to me. I'm full of attention. <laughs> he says, errands such as booking my flights and sending out emails. Is that a task you can handle? I can and will afford a weekly allowance of 700. I said, oh, definitely. He says, and also as for your payment, I will start by clearing your credit card debts. How much do you owe? I said, I don't actually have any credit cards. I'm debt free. What banks are you with? I can literally deposit my check into your account, which gets approved within a day or two. I said, I bank with First Community Mutual. Shout out to Kip Oga. I said, it's a local Pangea bank. What's your daily bank limit? He asks. I said, the withdrawal limit? And then he sends me a picture of his withdrawal limit or something. He said, send a screenshot of something like that. I said, okay, one second. I sent him the picture right back to him because it is a picture just like that. I said, there you go. He said, send a screenshot of your own bank daily limit. I said, oh, you meant my bank. One second. Why did you send me the same thing I sent you? I said, I was confused. And I sent him a random picture I found on Google of somebody's bank limit. It says my limit is 1k. How long have you been with First Community Mutual? I said, a long time. At least three months. I need your login details to log in, deposit my check into your account, which gets approved, and thereafter, send a screenshot of payment confirmed right away. I need your online username and password. I said, sure, sounds good. My bank login is my account number, 758-4748. I said, online username and password. I said, and the password is ICE. HFAN 420. That's what I use to log in. The account number is the username. What does your bank app look like? Send a screenshot. I said, I'll send you a link to the website. They don't have an app. He says, okay. I sent him a Gravify link that tracks his IP address and sends him to some random bank's website. And then I sent him his IP address and his location, all the information I gained from his link. I sent it to him. He says, that was my last location, February. I said, nah, that's your current location. He says, your bank app is down, buddy. And then he said, nah. And I said, yeah. He said, let me log in again. You'd see my location. I said, yeah, turn your VPN on. He says, what? If you don't want to proceed, it's fine. I said, can I see a picture of you? He said, I'd let you be. I'll send you one of me. He said, ain't by force. I got things to attend to. When you're serious, let me know. I sent him a beautiful picture of me, said the sloth. Anyways, I gotta go. Ice Age is coming.